How do the poor keep getting poorer and the rich continue getting richer? The work of Karl Marx has been used to solve this throughout history. Unfortunately, many nation states who tried to put Marx's vision into plan led their citizens to blood filled war and death. But that does not mean we should completely reject Marxism. So, what exactly was Marx's vision? Let's start from the beginning. Karl Marx was a 20th century German philosopher, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist and socialist revolutionary. Is there anything he wasn't? He wasn't Frederick Engels, that's for sure. Marx and Engels wrote the groundbreaking Communist Manifesto in 1848 and this is where Marxism was born. So even though this theory is named after Marx, it is important to remember Engels plays a key role in spreading this theory around the world. Marx and Engels noticed there was two groups in society. Of course, the rich group and the poor group. The rich were known as the bourgeoisie. This is where the slang term bougie comes from to describe someone who is or looks stylish and wealthy. The bourgeoisie owned the means of production or in other words, the big factories. The poor, coined as the proletariat, were the workers who were employed at these factories. As you can see in the diagram, the number of poor workers significantly outweighed the number of rich elite owners. It is this relationship between the rich and the poor which makes capitalism possible. <laughs> Marx's power imbalance between the rich and the poor is not only applicable to a factory and industrial framework, but can also be placed in feudal society with a relationship between slaves or serfs and their owners or masters. As Marx kept reiterating, the whole of history is a class struggle. Now, let's go back to our initial question of what was Marx's vision? Well, rebel, he said. It was Marx's dream that the poor proletariat would eventually regain consciousness of their class status and riot against the bourgeoisie. It is through this an equal society would be formed. Workers of the world unite, he said. What is so great about Marx's theory is that it can be applied to all areas of society and answer many pressing questions with the one word of capitalism. For example, why do we go to school? Capitalism. Why do we follow religion? Capitalism. Why do I have a family? Capitalism. So, there you have it. Marxism in under five minutes. Is there any place for Marxism in our current socially mobile society? What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.